God, it's so... My skin is so dry. It's so freaking cold in here, and the winter's coming, and oh my god, I'm using scissors to scratch my back. Ah. Hey, everybody. Morgana Hoya, right here. In case you can't read the freaking sign right above my head, you know? <laughs> you never know. So, I am here in SL once again at four in the morning well at least almost and by the time you see this it won't be four in the morning anymore but that's okay oh man so yesterday just to give you a heads up to the people that have actually been following along and are awesome viewers um yesterday which for me is technically today because i no, it was yesterday because i have slept anyway so yesterday i went to my doctor's because some of you have been asking me what's been going on, so I'm going to tell you. I went to my doctor, and I have officially been discharged. I am no longer seeing the surgeon because my, um, trying to find a pose that looks good. <laughs> uh, my ankle is all nice and healed, and everything's golden, and why can I not find a pose that I like? I guess that's as good as any. Normally I would wear my hair back because see it is a hoodie and I love the hoodie, but I love this hair so I had to make it work. Only front views only. Only front, front, whatever. <sighs> I came home and I basically, I waited and waited and waited to see my nurse. And then she came and discharged me, so I am no longer seeing the nurse either, which really sucks. I wish I could find a friend that lived close by. Um, like, I mean, I have my sister, who is basically my best friend, but we don't see each other very much anymore because she lives in Niagara Falls and I don't. Man, what is it with this silly post in? I cannot find a hair that, oh, you know what, the heck with this. Let's get off of this pose stand. For some reason, I just can't find a pose that I like. Alright, so we're going to go over here. And don't worry, because I have blocked out my hoochie. <laughs> As you can see. Alright, so this looks good. Just like this. How's that? And this is perfect. Oh, by the way, this, um, it's technically a shirt. <laughs> but I'm lazy today. So this shirt is from the annex and it is available in several different styles but I wanted to go with this because it's kind of freaky and kinky um it is available at the bloody fair is that what it's called and I'm using shadows today and I know that I normally don't but I don't know I want it to be different and since I'm only technically wearing the one thing um for article of clothing I can do a big old um close up Oh, by the way, and to prove how much I absolutely love Adam and Eve, I am even wearing my slink. Now, I'm not sure if this HUD is current. Let me see. You guys tell me. It is version... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you know. Ah, 2.4. So there's a very good chance that I don't have the right version on. So we're just going to bing, goodbye. And I'm wearing my tumble head, oh, of course. Now, this skin, I just totally jumped, and I don't know where I jumped from, but that's okay. This skin is called Morgana, and it is from Adam and Eve. Um, I would say Miss Fixin's first name, but pfft, I can't. <laughs> um, Adam and Eve has been around forever. Like, seriously, ever since I was a newbie, as Morgan anyway, Adam and Eve has been there. Adam and Eve was the place, it was like, this, this, um, it was this generation's Giza, okay? So, you know, Giza is where you can go to get tons and tons of free clothing, um, you have your gadgets and stuff like that. Well, think of that kind of scenario back in, like, 2007. I'm not even sure how long they've been around. Let's check, shall we? Okay. Alrighty. Here she is, by the way. Isn't she pretty? Let's kidnap her. We can cuddle with her and play with her. She's been here for 11 years. So that means her store has been here since... Does she have it? 
I don't think she even has it on here. Add in a new year. Yep, there since 2005. I'm going to cough in your ear now. Hold on a second. <coughs> See, it's not even a clear throat day. It's a full on hack your brains out day. Okay, so Adam and Eve was the place to go for your hair and your skin and your clothing. Like, God, this place was great. And it still is. And um, I'm not sure she offers the same gifts as she used to, but her skins are so cute now. And like I said, this is one of them. And I can't get any closer than this, so we're going to zoom in. Check out these eyes. Watch. They'll do it. Wow. Anyway, okay, so I am wearing the glow version. See, I so wanted it to, you know what, let's try this one more time. Since we're going to do like a full on up close and personal, I'm sure we can find at least one pose that work. By the way, I'm using my um, bang. <laughs> I'm using my bang stand. Okay, so I guess this is good enough. It's like wearing a flipping face light. <laughs> to hell with face light, it looks like a face beacon. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, yeah, yeah, pick your nose. Yeah, other side too. <laughs> right now, anyone who's just been listening has now opened your viewer and been like, pick your nose? Is she digging for treasure? Yes. Yes, I am. You know what? Since it's not going to cooperate with me, that's okay. Because I know a way around this. Ooh. <laughs> That's actually a good pose for what I want to do next. Okay. So we're going to use this pose. And we're going to... Na, 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 na. Okay. You know what? Get out. <laughs> I totally froze. Okay. So we're going to the worn tab. I really hope this turns out because I'm so tired. I actually went to the kinky event or the kink event just to get this hair. This hair and something else, which I'm sure I'll find. Oh, there we are. Bloody horror fair. That's coming off uh, when I'm closer. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. For all the people out there that complain about my coughing, I'm really sorry. If you want to get me something to help with my cough, you're more than happy to. Eventually, I'm going to pick a P.O. box. I don't know how, but yeah. P.O. P.O. box. Okay, so we're getting closer. 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 Okay. So there we are. Um, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. La 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 uh, Where are you? Oh come on, really? You're not gonna be in here. You're not gonna make it easy for me, are you? Because then I got this like new tab. <laughs> recent My recent craziness. Yahoo. Well you know it's um Halloween at Sen Senare, so you can go there and get like awesome gifts. Okay, so there it is right there. Now, it comes in four different tones, and I believe I'm wearing tone B. <laughs> I could be wrong there. I don't know why there's double pliers for each. That might be like an oopsie on their part. Oh, this one right here. We're just going to delete that because, you know, we have it. Um, dun, 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 dun. It is such an honor when I have things named after me. I think I have a hair out there, and you know, of course, I named a shape after myself because I was wearing it all the time. So, you know, all right, so I'm wearing Tone B, and um, first, I'd like to say. Thank you so much, Miss Fixin. This is a very nice honor. And I'm sorry that I am exhausted. Hey, look, the sexiest porn stars. My mama added me to that group. Hubba da hubba da hubba. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I am actually wearing glow. So we'll go back to the bare face. See, no glow. I think that the glow just adds a bit of contour, but I could be wrong. Let's see if I can see that. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of contour. Then you get your blush. Blush, blush, blush. 
um, moles. <laughs> and crackles. Just so you know, I'm going back to um, glow. That's actually cute. I like that. All right, so going back there, and then yeah, just select your eyebrows, your no brow. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten like unibrow yet. Seriously, hey, I happen to know a lot of females out there that have that brow that looks like it goes right across, and they're actually really pretty. <laughs> Not the brow, the girl. <laughs> oh my god, my skin's so dry. Who wants to come here and rub lotion on my skin? We'll call you Buffalo Jack. Was it Buffalo Jack? Ugh, God. Oh, oi, oi. There we go, much better. All right. Oh, blonde brows. Oh, we're on brow. Blit, blonde. Red brows. It's like a ginger. And what's this one? Brown. Brown. Brown cow. Okay. And then your smudge for your eyes. I guess it's like a liner. Yes, it is. Sweet. And then regular liner. Isn't that like considered the um, tear line? I never understood why we put eyeliner on that, but when I was in modeling, yes, I once upon a time did it. They used to go, make sure you put it on your tear line, and then blink like this. <laughs> And drive me crazy. Okay, let's go. Nah. Clear. I like more of a subtle. I can't help it. Okay, and lips gloss. Pretty. And then matte it. Okay. And then clear, which is pretty much where I was at. Alright, so. Next up. So I opened it up and put the um, physique in here. You can also use it on Matreya, but since I had the choice, right, and I haven't actually used my um, slink in a long time, which I really should get it updated. Anyway, I figured, why not? I'll just use it. So we're going to go and grab, there are four shadows here. Um, now, I don't know if this comes with the, uh, oh, look, 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 here we go, what's it coming with? Um, blah, blah, blah. The applier runs for six fifty, dollars included in this package are appliers for Slink and Matreya, lipsticks, eyeshadows, so the lipsticks and the eyeshadows are all sold separately. Eyeshadows should work on any head in the catalog range. I do have Omega appliers for the bodies not included in this package. Please ask me if you want them included. Yes, I do want them included. <laughs> Seriously, if I had the Omega, I would still be wearing my Belize. No offense to um, Slink. The only reason that I love my um, Belize body above all others, well, there's several reasons, but one of the main reasons is because everything's attached, and if you want to hide something so that way you can wear your slink, you just hit hide, but it's all attached. I wish um, that Matreya and Slink did that, had like a basic hand or something attached, basic foot kind of thing, but with Beliza, you have it all, you know? I want it all, I want it all, and I want it now. <laughs> Isn't that a song? I think it's Queen. One second. <coughs> oh, dear God. You know what's happening? I fell asleep with the door wide open. And it's like minus zero. <laughs> How do you get minus zero? It's minus one. My bad. Oh, man. Well, actually, let's see. I don't want to lie to you. It's zero. Feels like minus four. So there you go. Even worse. <laughs> oh, God. I'm still going at it, aren't I? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six different tones. That gives you a clue there. All right, so we're gonna try. <laughs> Here are the um, eyeshadows, right? And they're ooh. Okay, it chose for me. Okay, so um, oh, I actually love this palette in real life. Anyway, different palettes. There are four of them. Um, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Click 
for this time being, they're going to pile up on top of each other. Hey, get out of there. But don't worry, I'm going to change them. Bet you everybody in real I bet you everybody here thought that in real life I would wear um the uh which one call it the pink right right am I right nope not me okay so this is one there let's go to one and then two will go here. And then three is this one, and four. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh dear God. All right, so here you go. One sec. <coughs> Ow. Okay, so number one is always going to be my palette in real life. I have very pale skin, and I like to be dramatic. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm hiding out well, too, right? So let's go with, since it's the eyes, we're just going to come closer. Come closer to the Magana. Do, 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 do. Oh, by the way, the eyes that I'm wearing are from La Forme, and they are an applier for the Katawa eyes. See, normally I'd still be wearing my multicolored eyes. Well, they're not multicolored. You get them like in a package from Izzy's. But um, I thought that because these are blue and I barely wear my blue eyes anymore, I would show you these. And the form's awesome. So. Okay, so let me remember how I did this. So I always used to start with this and then build over. Unfortunately, you only get like one choice. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going through the different choices. See, I would always start with like this light one as a base, and then work like work up. Um, I would put this in the crease. I put like either this one or this one up on top, right? I'm crazy. I believe in layers, layers on layers upon layers. <sighs> I love layers. All right, blue usually brings out the blue in your eyes. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I believe, is that Lou's diner? Or somebody's diner? Oh, speaking of diner, oh, ooh, went to Burrito Boys with Jeff today, and oh my dear God, best burrito ever. I wish I had more. Hey, that's not bad for Thank you. Um, I had everything on it. This thing was ten dollars it was basically a foot and um three pounds or more jeff thinks it was probably closer to five but we didn't sit there and measure okay so that is this and i am actually going to put one shadow on let's go with this one the more dramatic look Ooh. and then we're going to repeat the process for the lips All right, let's see. See, I can't get through that. My my mouse is double clicking everything, so it's like sticking. See, anyway, it's sticking and it's causing stop it. It's causing like massive issues. Holy drama, Batman! All right, so there we go. Everything goes on. Um. Okay, let's click here and set one. Now, can you guys guess what lipstick I go with in real life? So you know what eyeshadow I would go with. Which lipstick would I go with? I'll let you guess while I put this on. If somebody can get me a good link to that song, I'd be much appreciative. I love that song. Um, I really love remixes though. So like if you know a remix of it, then that would be sweet. Where? What is going on here? Stop it. See, it's like double clicking. Stop. I really have to hunt down a different mouse. I wonder if they sell them at the dollar store. I'm pretty sure even a dollar store mouse would be better than this. Ting. 
Yeah, see, it keeps double clicking my hair. Ugh. And then it's, oi. Which one is this? I don't even know. That's number three. Number two. Number one. So that would mean this, nope, this one is number four. Okay, so we're going to go all the way over here. Make some space. I know you guys are probably like, why do you do it that way in the first place? Because I'm a Nimrod. That's why. Okay, so here we are. These are the lipsticks. So have you guys figured out which one I would use in real life? Now this is saying if I were to wear makeup in the first place. I only wear lipstick, eyeliner, maybe some eyeshadows once in a while. Why is that open? <laughs> Just for the sake of it, we'll go through a couple. This is palette one. Have you guys noticed how fast anything on Catawa reses for me? Oh, that's pretty actually. Um, but number one is not my palette. Oh, you can choose a matte or a gloss or matte. Ooh, cute. Um, what's this one? Is it gonna gloss it for me? Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? That fucking freaked me out. Pardon my language, but it did. <laughs> I don't know how to make it glossy. Oh, I guess there's a way to do it, but. Uh. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is gloss. Come on. And this is matte. <laughs> okay. So let's go with the glosses real quick. Nope. I have the door open, so you know. Of course, that just freaked me right out. All right. So that's me right there. <laughs> In real life, that's pretty much how it would look. Do you guys remember what palette that was? <laughs> oh my god, my heart. Oh my heart. <laughs> One second. <coughs> ah, see, at least I'm moving the mic. All right. So to come back to uh, this, because, you know, we're not dressed. <laughs> See, hi, wet cat. She's awesome. Get on. There we go. <laughs> All right. Bloody horror fair. We're going to go with. Hmm. Already did the skeleton, so we'll go with skull. Ding. Fries are done. All right. Ta da. That's skulls. Oh, look at this. Look at this, too. There's my booty. <laughs> so this is the physique shape or uh, mesh body not shape the shape underneath is actually storm <clears throat> still well it's a modified version of storm because I am working on a new shape and usually what I'll do is unless unless specifically specify <laughs> What is it? Suffering suckers hash? Anyway, um, unless specifically specified, then um, I usually base my shapes off past worn. So right now it's storm, so I'm basing it off storm. Yay! So my gift is still up on, um, what is it called? <laughs> I'll think about it in a minute. Um... The gift is still up on 
marketplace and it will be until Monday. So you guys, if you know a movie or you know, or if you want it for yourself, you're gonna have to get it ASAP because it's going, 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 going. And um remember everything in it gets deleted so I won't have it for you guys to have later and yes I sometimes will keep a copy for myself but that doesn't mean I'm gonna sell it to you <laughs> it was an exclusive item and it was a gift for all of my readers and subscribers and you know new people and etc etc of course there are still gifts up there but um, I might be removing those soon too so you might want to take a look um, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I am so happy to have met the people that I have been meeting, and I'm so happy just to be moving on in real life health. Now all I have to really deal with is, you know, of course there's the whole bipolar thing, but, you know, I think that labels out there are just scary because people hear bipolar and they run. They run screaming the other way because they don't fully understand it. And hey, I was one of those people too. When I was a kid and they said, mm, we think that she's bipolar, I was like, hmm, I think you're nuts. <laughs> Irony there, huh? But now that I fully understand that it's not my fault, it's not something that people with bipolar and manic depression make up. It's just a chemical imbalance. There's nothing you can do about it. Just like um, a friend of mine, um, his ex-girlfriend keeps throwing the fact that he has borderline personality um, deficiency, is it called, or something like that? I was diagnosed with that as a kid too, but then again, anybody in children's age was diagnosed with that. You know, the, the fear of not belonging or being rejected and basically being someone different from the inside that you are on the outside, meaning inside, um, you know, I could be insecure and scared and everything, but on the outside I tried to project that I'm more confident than I actually am. However, with me, over the years, I've been able to project both. <laughs> sometimes I can believe in myself and sometimes I can't. So when his ex-girlfriend throws this in his face, first off, she fancies herself a um, psychiatric nurse. She's not. She's probably a psychiatric patient, <laughs> but nurse is a hell no. Because anyone in the medical profession knows never, ever use someone's disabilities as a weapon against them. If they start using it as a weapon, the person with the disability is not in the wrong. And it's important for all of you out there that have a mental disability. If there's somebody in your life that says, oh, you've got borderline personality disorder, or oh, your manic depress depression is bothering me, or, you know, those aren't people to have in your life. Get rid of them. Cut the cord. Get away from them. They're not healthy for you. You need people around you that are going to support you and understand you. And this is not about me. This is about my friend. I want him to know, and I want all of you out there that have been going through the same thing, being borderline personality disorder or being diagnosed with that is not a bad thing. It's not. Something you should work on, but it's not a bad thing. Um... It's a chemical imbalance, something that you can work on with therapy, and if somebody out there is using it as a weapon or trying to manipulate you with it, then they're not, they're the ones, they're the ones that are wrong, they're the ones who are flawed. You're perfect, you're perfect just the way you are, and if somebody else has a problem with that, tell them to kiss your Aunt Fanny, because that's the only place that they belong. All right. So that was my public service announcement for today. I hope it reached a lot of people, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And thank you to, I'm going to try it, uh, Sachi, Sachi Vixen. See, we've been friends for many years, and I still don't know how to say her name. Um, I am just, I, I've had such a good week. Everything's going well. I'm just waiting for that shoe to drop. drop. Yes, I know. I'm a pessimist. Can't help it. Um, however, that with that glass, I never see it as half empty. 
<laughs> Even if there's an inch of water in it, I see that as a way to gargle. Stick some salt in there and gargle. Get rid of that throat infection or toothache or whatever. Oh, and for anyone that I may have texted today, <laughs> sorry, I may have been a touch, a touch incapacitated. I took two morphines as I'm supposed to today. Unfortunately, I didn't take it pre-pain. I took it when the pain hit. And I know, I know, I know that's not the way I'm supposed to do things, but I don't know. <laughs> So I was mildly high all day long, well into the night, and and it's Paige's fault. <laughs> she indulged me. So sorry for the funky videos or the messages or anything weird that you'd gotten. Um, <clears throat> I tried to pin down my children to get videos of them because you know I had the video. I might as well, right? And nobody wanted to come near me. <laughs> I don't know if it, it could have been that big red nose that I had posted on my face all freaking day. Who knows? But, anyway, it's been a day. What can I say? Ooh, I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Actually, I did, but whatever. <sighs> okay. Hey, if you live in Canada, like in Ontario, we'll narrow it down to Ontario. If you live in Ontario, shoot me a message. <clears throat> Let's get to know each other because I need friends close by. I really do. I need to start making friends in real, real time, like real world, because I am disabled. I don't get out very much. And the loss of Bev, that's the nurse that came to visit, the loss of Bev is going to hit me in a couple days, you know, because she was visiting every three days, or somebody from her team was visiting every three days. So. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start missing her. You know, you don't go six months seeing somebody every three days or a visitor every three days and then have nothing. So <clears throat> I need to make some friends in Ontario, close by, who, you know, a year or so down the road, we can, you know, meet up, be friends. Just for a warning, you know, I am a big girl, and if you're gonna just like meet up with me to stare at me, frig off. I don't need that. You know, I would prefer to meet somebody who has similar um, illness as me or similar um, interests as me, who likes books, I love books, that kind of thing. And preferably female because I think everybody all around would have a problem with me meeting up with males. <laughs> How I would too. <laughs> no offense to the guys out there. I know there are guys out there that believe that girls can be friends but it's a little different online as opposed to in like the real world um guys are going to get jealous regardless you know partners are not going to like that shit <laughs> so if you're a lady out there and you live in ontario and you you know want to become pen pals or friends in sl and see where that all goes um best friend applications are open <laughs> Um, real life best friends because in SL my mom's my best friend and Jenna's one of my best friends and Kaylin's one of my best friends though she doesn't know that so shh um, <laughs> uh, Melanie in real world is my best friend but she's my sister she's not my real sister like blood but she's my sister so she'll always be my friend you know <clears throat> I'm rambling I know anyway so I'm going to get going so I can blog this and get it out there just for you. And then I'm going to go play some WoW because I haven't played WoW in like a long time. And it's kind of silly to have the subscription and not do anything. Tisriel, if you're listening, I miss you. You better be on on Saturday or I'll kick your ass. Um, hmm, what else? What else? What else? What else? Mom and dad and dad, we got to get together and have a family portrait. And I'm not talking this pink family portrait. I'm talking about family portrait. All of us. I'll log on. I'll log on. No. I'll log on my family alts. I won't log on all my alts. Because there once upon, once upon a time, I had a store in Second Life called Soft Touch Skins. And I had bots. 
<laughs> not copy bots you assholes out there but bots you know where you fill out the application to have your avatar as a bot yeah I had like 27 of them <laughs> something like that anyway so I'm not gonna log in all of my alts because that would be kind of scary I wonder how many I could put on here anyway bowing oh, okay so we're done I'm gonna get going and um, make sure you check out the bloody fair because it is awesome and um, there's an event called the nightmare event and <laughs> make sure you look everywhere for those stupid little teeth <laughs> I have to thank Max, Max, Matt, Max, whatever you want to call him, for helping me with that because he found it, no problem. I went around that maze like half a billion times trying to find the one that I was missing, but he found it like right off the bat. Him and Tisriel, when it comes to hunt, hunt items or gatches, they're awesome. Okay, and um, I think that's all I wanted to say, but I could be wrong. Oh, one more thing. Um, have as a designer, now I've asked this on Plurk and on Facebook, as a designer, have you ever had a falling out with a friend who has purchased items from your store and then um, when you have the falling out, and this is like months after, this is how it happened to me, months after they ask for a refund to the Lindens they either spent in your store or Lindens that they claim they lent you. See, this is why I don't like borrowing anything because stuff like this happened. Now, when I do borrow, when it's a specific borrowing, then I write it down or I put, I make a mention of it in my blog. So I know I didn't borrow anything from this person, but they bought stuff from my store. That's what I'm assuming on an alt or something. And she messages me and asks me for um, me to pay her back. That is messed up, you know, seriously. How about this? I will say it just like everybody on Plurk said it and how I said it. To her, I said, give me the transaction history, um, the proof of this message between her and I that it was a loan, and also, oh, God, there was something else. So chat history, transaction history, and also the blog post on where I said, you know, so-and-so gave me a loan to get this, because that's what I would have put. <sighs> Something tells me she's not going to be able to. And the folks on Plurk said, you know, it's never happened to them, but if it were to have happened, they would ask for all the things that I said, plus the item back, which, you know, it was a shape. You know, there's no way she could give it back to me. Also, <clears throat> she originally claimed that I borrowed the money from her, so I could buy a shape. Do y'all see the irony in here? I don't use other people's shapes unless it comes with the um, blog thing that I'm doing. The only other shape that I've ever worn, there's two of them. One was from um, Acura and the other one was from Katawa. That's it. So I haven't done shapes in years and the last shape that I blogged was from Whisper Mins. She, and y'all know when she last had a shape store. So back it up, sista, or aunt, whatever the hell you were. <laughs> that is so insulting to come back and say, oh, we didn't get along, so now give me my Lindens back. <laughs> you know what? You're right. We didn't get along. Give me my time back. Can't do that, can you? Nope. All right, so for anyone out there that's having issues with, you know, ungrateful people in SL, tell them to kiss your ass because you don't need them in your life either. Okay, so be happy. The moral of the story, be happy. Hey, what's that? How the heck did that get up there? So I laid these dots on the top of my, of my, um, what is that? Uh, the roof of my cabinet. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I will see you guys in the, the next post. After this, um, I'm going to do my 50 Linden run around, and then I'm going to go to WoW, either WoW or to watch shows. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Please subscribe. You know how. Adios.
Ciao. Uh, rare for dirty. I know that's not how you say it. Sayonara.